Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Tony Camella, physical therapist with E3 Rehab. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few simple strategies in order to most effectively execute the forearm plank. And if you're someone that just finds this exercise too easy, I'm going to be showing you three ways to make them harder. The forearm plank is an isometric anti-extension trunk exercise. In other words, you prevent extension of your lumbar spine by engaging your abdominals. To maximize activation of the rectus abdominis and obliques during the plank, try these two simple cues. First, think about tucking your tailbone under as you squeeze your glutes. If you have a hard time performing this movement in the plank position, Try it in a standing position first. Start with your hips tilted forward and then tuck your tailbone while squeezing your glutes. And second, while in the plank position, gently pull your elbows back towards your toes. By doing so, you should feel your abs engage more. To get the most out of your plank, stack your shoulders over your elbows, press the floor away from you, and maintain a straight line from your head to ankles. Again, squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone under, and gently pull the elbows towards the toes to help maximally engage your abs. This exercise is used to train the trunk flexors isometrically by holding this position for a set duration of time. If you find this too easy, here are three ways to make planks harder. Number one, RKC plank. The setup and execution are similar to the standard forearm plank, except you are performing the previously mentioned cues at max effort. This high intensity hold should leave you shaking in a matter of seconds. Number two, long lever plank. Instead of the elbows in line with the shoulder, you're going to now place the elbows just under your nose. Again, posterior tilt your pelvis and squeeze your glutes while driving the elbows back towards your toes. Compared to the standard forearm plank, this has been shown to elicit significantly greater activation of the abdominal muscles. And number three, weighted plank. Same setup as the standard forearm plank, but now place a weight on your lower back and hips. At 20% of body weight and to failure, this variation has demonstrated similar rectus abdominis and external oblique activity to that of a six rep max back squat. Find an appropriate starting weight and progress weight as tolerated. Dosage will vary based on your goals, but two to four sets of 20 to 60 second holds two to four times a week at a challenging intensity can be an appropriate starting point for most individuals. In summary, the plank is a viable option for training isometric endurance of the trunk flexors. But in order to perform this most effectively, there are a few cues worth implementing. If after you use these cues and you still find this exercise too easy, one of the three variations I have shown should make this exercise more appropriately challenging for you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, tap that like button subscribe, and even turn on notifications. If you have questions or suggestions on future content, just drop those below in the comments. Until next time.